Welcome back to another video, on the Dell Precision M4300 repair attempt. Please look at the previous videos, to understand what I describe in this video. The fan I got, wasn't compatible with the laptop. The pin layout was not the same. The touch signal pin was swapped with the ground pin. And the shape isn't the same. It needs to be modified to get it fit inside the laptop. But, that wasn't my first interest. I needed to see that everything is working. And later I could think about how to fix the shape problem. When I started the computer, I noticed from the beginning that the fan was not spinning. I checked the fan outside the laptop, and gave it 5 volts. It didn't work. That is why I bought another fan. But even with the new fan, which I checked by giving the new fan directly 5 volts and worked. Still the fan didn't start with the laptop startup or later. I waited sometimes when the laptop was running, to prove that the fan controller was not working. The laptop became hot and it turned off. I started searching for the datasheet for the EMC4001. I couldn't find any datasheet at Microchip's home site. The chip is custom designed and the datasheet is not available for the public. But, there are other chips that do the same job. Looking at them, you get an idea what all these abbreviations means, which you find or have on the pin layout inside the schematic diagram, and their functionality. I was able to find information about EMC4002. A better variant of EMC4001, they are not compatible, be aware. You see the block diagram of the chip. The biggest problem with EMC4001 I could find, is the absent of touch signal feedback system inside the chip. EMC4001 cannot take the feedback from the fan. In this laptop the tachometer inside the fan send the generated signal to another chip which is called MEC5025. Looking at the fan when the computer is running, you get a reading of fan speed which is strange and constant. No matter what you do, the RPM reading is the same. This indicate that the feedback system is not working. Big failure. This means that the MEC5025 which has the GIOP input pin is damaged also. Bad luck. It is really a bad design. If a fan controller cannot cover all signals communications and needs a bigger chip to take a signal, should be considered as a bad design. I have no way to fix the laptop at the moment. The GIOP pin is damaged at the MEC5025. The chip is costing too much about 18 euros. Do you think that there is a way to control the fan without using the feedback? The laptop can read the sensors reading the temperature reading are available inside the computer using the EMC4001. Could we write a code to control the EMC4001, and put the 5 volts on the rail to run the fan? I don't know. I need to investigate more. That is what I could find during the last period. I have to investigate more and more troubleshoot the laptop. You find photo images at the instructables.com home site as I have this laptop repair there also. Please leave your comments and suggestions. Thanks for watching.